retake and rotate. To be fair, you don't necessarily have to retake outer quite so much as B because you're already near enough to the bomb site and to the bomb itself because they've dropped it down. Good shot, KNG has to back off. Smoke will allow them to re-grab immediately. Lucas downed by a Dren. Finally, Gambit. Exactly what they need. Getting a pistol, it would be their first in the series as KNG drops back in. Hit on either of the players alive. Toward the control room for KNG as Henny still tries to tap with the CZ at long range. And Hobbit might be perfectly positioned. Henny's got a kill, that's fine. Hobbit now knows he's there, won't waste any time with a knife. No time for a kill, just get it done. And they will. Хочешь поднять свои скинчики? Заходи на рулетку CSGOFAIT.RU Здесь есть аж целых 5 видов игр, начиная от классической рулетки, заканчивая монеткой 50 на 50. Также по промокоду FREE ты сможешь получить 50 монеток бонуса. Заходи, играй и выигрывай. Ссылка в описании. Won't get time for the reload, it takes ages on the CZ as we know, but Mo's there with the AK-47 to hold the high ground. Scout for Henny could be promising at this point. Going to be a difficult situation, that bomb plant and no kits have to operate very quickly here. Mo with the advantage, I would say, as he comes in from the upper ramp. Everything to play for him. The fake defuse comes through, nice HE grenade. He's not taking the bait just yet. He's holding. He's holding and the scout's gonna hold off Mo. He's gotta go now, five seconds. He's got the shot in already, he's got the shot again. The scout is positioned accordingly and the round two immortals. Eagles for the other three players. It's Mo and Adren of Head Armor trying to open things up. Like we said, these are two players that haven't looked fantastic, but that's much better. Mo through the smoke line still. And we have a five and four situation. NG, Adren not ready for it, down. They all turn back to go toward him. Flash around the corner. Just them in part, but no one willing to be the aggressor. No one wants to be the next to go down because they may just do if they're not careful. Two peak, two combined. KNG to fall. Zeus. Shaky as ever, but gets the kill no less. What a shot from Henny on arrival. An exposed position trying to work with KNG here. He's got the AWP, but Lucas, I'm not sure he gets much done here, but can't find the frag. There it is at the KNG. Isolated. Ooh. They're starting to hit shots. Hits a shot indeed, but that's going to allow the mortals to just sweep the round away. Opening that matters because they'll force the CTs to change their setup. Although they're patient in doing so, they're still with double orbs though. The mortals will be fighting back here. Fine from Steel pushes up though. Mo, the T side and Hot. Now it's down to just the double ops and one M4, which is going to have to be crucial and pivotal in the round as Lucas still waits at backtracks, getting closer and closer. Is Doja getting closer and closer as KNG on the AWP? He's able to find the kill, and so is Henny on Hobbit. Zeus, alone for a moment in the B site, has to back away and let Mo join him. He won't play the high territory. A WP for Mo as well, keep in mind, so he wants to watch rotations and anyone entering and he expects they're closer than they are. Won't quite be able to spot Lucas as he gets in behind the train. If you don't know, X-Ray. That's a benefit to the spectators. We oh. just saw his perspective and there was nothing to find. It's all gonna be the AWPs. Angie and Henny are both Toward the yard, both close to the positions, trying to be fortified and occupied. It's Ren. He's already inside of the quad position, but KNG pre-scoped. Gonna try and wait to see if he can get anyone crossing out of the gap. Good jump down, but Doja gives up the ball and that far away in hell. It's fortified by the AWP. If Henny can find even one kill, he helps significantly, but a better shot from Mo will open the position. Bolts now still has vision of Doja's blunder, if you want to call it that, because he's taken out Mo. That's the AWP, and all he has to do is hold Hobbit in the corner. Hobbit needs to slow it there for, but he can't do it. Bolts may steal this back. He might do. He's been very quiet in this half so far, Matt, but 50 seconds to work with here. Comes Zeus in the backtracks. This could be the perfect play. Bolts will be expecting it, and Zeus takes him down. Zeus gets it with a back 10 up close. Bomb will be planted. Steals. He'll be quick to get to Pop Dog if he can get through, because Zeus, they've dropped the bomb. May have to turn. He may have to give up the angle. Which will give Steel the entry. Steel, good shoulder bait out, getting damage in. Must be very careful, this Zeus. Brave. Very brave, but he's causing time to be a factor, and more so positional for Bolts. Because as they put their eyes on him and don't get the bomb to replant it, Steel's gonna rotate around. Bolts can start to watch it. This again comes down to a drop bomb. Or HP as well for Zeus. Still within a chance here, Immortal in the force pipe. Bolts two kills. Looking to rectify the previous clutch going against him. Bomb planted, Zeus low HP. It's him and Mo to work together here. This gets in 
Very close, as you say, towards Zeus's position there on either side of him. He's down. Would have been traded potentially either way. With the hop has it all to do. No kits. Molotov in behind the E-Box. Check they aim, but he's going to walk out late from it. AWP. AWP, but it doesn't even matter what a shot from Bolts. Just when Gambit think they get away. They have control of the situation. Immortals find a way immediately back in. And now their money is running low. It's break. No matter who wins this, KNG starts it off, but Adren responds. Better shot, KNG again. Bomb goes down. It's out of Doji's hands. He's putting oh, the flames. Oh, 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 oh. But even when he's hot, he'll hit the shot. He goes back and takes out Hobbit as well. KNG in. They got their first pistol in this game. First in the series, that is. Want to do the same. They want to control everything early on. Zeus starts well. Adren follows up. It's all answered back immediately as Henny and Bolts get kills. That's traded again as Hobbit finds one and Bolts is continuing to find form. He was oh. slow inside of the B site, but now it's a massive problem because Zeus goes low and Bolts and Steel are the two to pull it off. Damage there, Kenji down to 21 HP as well. It's looking like a gambit round here as they find the first pick. Good control. Zeus gets found though by Henny. Watch. Headshot potential from Lucas. Unfortunately, it's not the AK and Hobbit. Doesn't really care what gun it is because he'll pop back up. Make no mistake putting him down. Still one of the two ops in play, but Hobbit getting closer, spotted out by Steel. Doesn't need to be baited into the second player. So smartly backs off to keep himself alive. Does his feet show fast enough for Steel to respond? He certainly sees them. Molotov goes in, Hobbit goes high, but head shows. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Forces the play. Architecture all the way through. He's gonna get closer and closer to the bomb as well. Finds a dread. Now there's a problem. Moe's only on 16. Flash ever so slightly mistimed, may have amounted to the kill against Mo. Thankfully Doja's gotten a position that's a lot closer, but he's gonna go hunting. mo has gotta be perfect, finds the first. No response from Steel. The more time Mo buys, the faster Doja's able to flank around the other side, and Mo gets the kill himself. Coming through, they have the fast outside approach, knowing that the Gambit money would be low, and that double orb set up as well. I seem like they once they didn't find the initial pick, they didn't really have much to work with there. I wanna see more of the defaults, the execution. He has to back off, that allows the entry, as you say. The wall, what they don't account for. Oh, as Zeus gets into ticket, nearly takes down KNG, was that exact position above them. They won't get the plan. Adren denies it. That'll buy more space. 22 seconds, Bolts re-grabs it. He'll try and commit, oh. but Adren's got the position. He's got the lineup in Mo. He takes out Lucas. Round is done. 13 seconds, and he's just going to try and save the AWP. And then slow, they'll back it off. KNG could go back for more Hobbits trying to get an angle. So, all right, if you want to come back out, I'm ready for you. It nearly works as well because the first shot went to the second player in the site, Mo. And then it was immediately chased out by Hobbit, but Lucas in better position. Things change now. Mo with the AWP does find a shot. And Zeus is baited oh. back in. Mo gets bolts. It may work. The single off. Lucas and Steel, the last two alive as they work back inside of the site. Bomb waiting patiently for it to be picked up back toward A main. This was a mortal chance to almost tie things up here, but it's Mo delivering frags, and Dozier adds to their total. Three versus one, it falls apart for Immortals, trying to get the refrags, but Mo, he's oh. hitting absolutely everything. Takes down Steel, it's 14-11. Steel has a back turn, boom. <laughs> oh, that is kind of sick, isn't it? Well. He's showed up, double up now for the CTs, Adren. Those KNG walks in with Deagle, no opening yet. Molotov perfectly positioned to deny, not give them the space, but Doji's got to be careful in the open in the middle, more so because Bolts is taking out a trend. His wingman, his man above to watch over top, Doja, he's locked out in the middle, 9 HP found by KNG, but it's a one versus two. Want him to go down and they're going to act quickly, they're going to try and swarm in and get an angle, they know he has to go right or left, both are covered, both are watched, and Hobbit's going to close it, Gambit will force map three. It was looking desperate for Gambit in the first. Immortals in control of every situation, every facet of the game. But Train, that's when Gambit have come to life. Going up 6-1 to kick things off as well. We did see the adjustment for Immortals. The double orb setup looked like it was enough.